Your Excellency, I would like to stand on previous protocols because the night is far gone and get straight to it. I would first of all like to thank all of you gathered here and all the other regions and those at home who are keeping vigil with us because I recognize and I accepted a long time ago that he wasn't just my father and we've always shared him with everybody else. And so if we are here today, we are here mourning not just our father, but the father of many. I would like to read from the Bible a couple of verses that came to me as I was told that I needed to come here and speak. And I read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to rend. And a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised therewith. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath set eternity in their heart. Yet so that man cannot find out the work that God hath done from the beginning even to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to rejoice and to do good as long as they live. Most of the previous speakers have spoken about the values and principles that my father lived by. Values and principles which, within his power, he did everything to instill within the government that he led. An inclusive one, which even before the era of constitutional rule, understood the value of everybody's opinion being part of decision making. As we stand here today to honor his memory, I will leave you with a quote from my father. We often get lost in the games of politics and often forget our North Star should be our principles, values, and kindness to one another. We often get lost in the games of politics and often forget that our North Star should be our principles, values, and kindness to one another. In many ways, this is summed up by the golden rule that we treat each other as we would love to be treated. I pray that as we enter this period towards the election on the 7th of December, that we let these values live within us and we protect, we absolutely protect what we have as a nation because that is how we will honor his memory. I thank you and God bless you all.